Christmas sports and Ricardo Live one tonight, folks. This one goes to Samika Jones, that's Quincy's wife, and also Dorothy Russell, that's Tyrone T's. Whoops, and they're all celebrating a year older, a year better. And also Jensen and Lena Cooper, they dated for 10 years and they got married for 25 years. You get the picture, do the math, they old. Okay, here we go. The Grandma Athletic Association held their elections last night of the Bishop Michael Eldon High School. Our Kimberly Mullings has got this one covered. The GB3As held elections Tuesday and Iron Lewis was elected the new president. He says he's excited to be back in Grand Bahama as he deliberately refused to seek office at the national level. While a person may have thought that I um, demoted myself, I consider it an honor to be home where my navel string is buried to make sure that I build the organization as best as I can along with my new executive board to the level where it can go. Lewis thanks immediate GB3A's past president Cam Stewart and his administration for a job well done despite the many challenges they faced. Lewis says work starts immediately for his executive board as early as next week Monday. We're going to be brainstorming, we're going to have a meeting of the mind to ensure that programs are put in place to make sure that all of our executives do not just hold a substance, not just hold um, a token position, but a position where they are working. Um, the, per, the people voted for us, the General Assembly voted for us, showing that they have confidence in us. Observing the GB3A's elections was Rosamond Carey, who is running for the position of president of the Bahamas Association of Athletic Associations, as well as current president Mike Sands, who found the elections open, civil, and transparent. I want to congratulate all those persons that, first of all, put forth themselves for office because it's a labor of love in the first instance. And so they are to be congratulated for wanting to assist the GB3As and by extension our sport of track and field in the country. And then congratulations also to the winners. The vice president is Emmett Higgins. Dion Britton was elected secretary. Sandra Lang, the assistant. The treasurer is Anton Boleg, assisted by Ravano Ferguson. Shakitha Hanfield, public relations director. And the council members Anita Doherty, James Vega, Kelly Albury, Eula White, and Madge Morrison. Kimberly Mullings, Zenness Total Sports. It's still a Saturday must-see at the YMCA. More and more kids are turning out for this exciting sport. Let's go to Talia Hall. Soccer is in week four at the YMCA. Coordinator Cordell McNabb says they have ran out of uniforms and some space, but they are still obligated to accept all kids who come out each and every Saturday. We have up to, I think, 140 um, um, children playing um, in the Coed League, and we have six six youth um, teams uh, which is the 8 to 13 and we have four mini which is the six five and six year olds and then we have four teams of peewee players which is like age three four. McNabb says they are teaching kids the fundamentals of soccer fun and camaraderie. I'm teaching them how to head the ball how to pass how to um, run into space how to dribble and also to learn some of the basic rules of the game um, in terms of um, heading the ball instead of catching the ball. Parents, you can still bring the kids out because games will run until the second week in December and resume in January. It's good. This is um, a positive program and this has been a program that the YMC has been running for decades. Um, you know, if they have their children and they want them to be a part of a program, the YMC is always available. It's Halia Hall, ZNS Total Sports. Well, folks, there's a store at the Circle Mall here in Grand Bahama that's offering some pretty good stuff. I went looking for a pair of socks. They tell me my feet ain't got that kind of material to put on it. Anyhow, Kimberly Mullings got something that I couldn't get, a pair of socks. The Winner's Circle in the Circle Mall has it all from Under Armour to Sprints, socks, and more. Co-owner Bianca Strawn says fitness clothing is usually considered a luxury and was proud to bring affordable clothing to the island. When you look good, you feel good, and you work out good. So we just want to offer a lot of different brands on a lot of different scales for people who've been working out for a very long time or people who just started a gym. You know, we have different things to offer them. Strawn adds that there are a number of brands available for customers to choose from. We have two different sections. We have a fitness section where we offer clothing for women, men, and children. And we carry brands from East Bay, Under Armour, Nike, Adidas, and just off brands. And we also offer prices from more on the low end to high end. The Winner's Circle also offers awards for sporting events on the island, as well as PE uniforms. Sandra Lang, co-owner, says they hope to expand nationally. Sometime now, 
we were not able to find affordable awards um, for a different sporting discipline. And um, the High School Association, you know, has entrusted in me um, the ability to provide them with the awards for all their sporting occasions. In addition to that, you have a number of schools for their house sports that have been um, supplying them with ribbons and medals at affordable prices. And um, we've also branched into um, the PE uniforms. Feel free to drop by the Circle Mall and check out the Winner's Circle for your fitness and sporting gear. Kimberly Mullings, Zedna Solo Sports. And that was an intentional story for our very own Shashina Roll. I need to get her started. She can get the gear, get in shape, get ready for what's going to be a wonderful Thanksgiving and Christmas. Okay? Keep your hands down, Shashina. We'll be back to look at sports tonight. <laughs>